a special meeting of USD 350 Board of Education to order. Welcome visitors. Um, first item, the temporary school closure. Um, with our case numbers, uh, been concerning with the rise in numbers um, in our county, in particular in our school district. Right now we have 20 students that uh, are currently a positive active case and four staff members. Uh, we had 37 under quarantine orders as of Friday. Uh, many of those were choosing to test and stay in school. Uh, some were not. Uh, we have a situation with one of our junior high students uh, that is an athlete uh, that will likely affect uh, nearly the entire football and volleyball team. Um, so that's another 30 to 40 under quarantine orders. Um, and also our kindergarten classrooms are affected now. Uh, those were two new cases from the weekend. So that puts us at 25% uh, of all of our staff and students either a positive case or under some sort of uh, under quarantine order. Uh, so that's very concerning uh, with the way it's just exploded and uh, uh, very concerned about our current situation and then what's going to happen over the next week. Um, talked with Shannon today and we discussed it. She agreed that shutting down for a week, uh, let this thing cool off, uh, would be our best bet. So my recommendation would be to close school for the entire week, no school, no activities. Uh, that would give us about nine days the, this, this weekend, and then five days, and then the next weekend uh, where we have no nothing going on school-wise. Um, you know, we can't control what goes on outside of our walls, but uh, we did have a cross-country meet Saturday, so there would be a handful that would be a full nine days there. but. Uh, Shannon was comfortable with that time frame of at least from the school spread being able to mix that for the time being. So, any questions about our current situation? So all the classes? Yeah. Just going to be Zoom classes? Or no. Nothing. 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 It'll just be like a snow day. We're going to make it a day later. We have... Uh, share the screen and show you guys the uh, the calendar um, the numbers we figure uh, this is pretty darn close um, this is the extra number of hours uh, that we have for the that's above the minimum for the school year required by the state so we have about five and a half days um, above the minimum We've already taken one day for our air conditioning situation. So these five days would put us at six days, so we have a half a day there we need to make up. Um, if we run into other trouble, weather, or more COVID problems, uh, we do have days at the end we can make up. There may be a day thrown in here or there that we could adjust our calendar to make up. But uh, as far as trying to get remote learning together uh, it, that was such a it's, it's not a good situation we're not prepared to do that right away I, can I assume that the library will also be closed um, I haven't talked with Laura about that uh, typically when we close school the library is closed but uh, that's usually because there's weather and people can't get here. Um, any adjustments? You know, the only thing on this agenda right now is this temporary school closure. So, any adjustments to our COVID protocols needs to be done in our regular meeting, not today, because that's really not on the agenda. So we'll continue with that discussion on, on Monday. But I thought it was important that we thought it was important after discussing it that we get together and act on this so folks have time 
you know, I could have closed school tomorrow and we could have taken this action tomorrow night, but it'd be good if parents know here's exactly what we're doing on Sunday night. So. I think it's a good idea. Great. It's not something we want to do. I know I understand it's a hardship on, on our families, but we have to do this. In my opinion. So that's my recommendation close school. All school activities will resume on September 20th. And uh, we would have some staff in the building custodial staff, office staff. Uh, you know, teachers will be permitted to come in and do a little bit of work if, if they feel the need. It's uh, not a complete, we're not going to set off any bleach bombs or anything in the building. We're going to thoroughly clean, of course, but uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the concentration of 400 people in our building every day is what we need to mitigate. Substitutes, how short? Uh, tomorrow, we would have had two teaching positions that we wouldn't have been able to fill. Uh, I don't know what we would have been doing. Shorthanded in the office staff. Um, the rest of the week we had one. Um, we had one position we couldn't fill for the week, and then we had various pair of positions that we have nobody for. So that also complicates things trying to fill those spots. So with the addition of that and short on people, it's it's going to get worse. Mr. President, I move that the board approve a one week shutdown of school and all school activities with school to resume on September 20th. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve a one week shutdown of school and all school activities with school to resume on September 20th. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Carried. All right. Motion to adjourn. I so move. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. All right, thank you guys.